Uh, hello everyone. I uh, just wanted to give you a look at the uh, Bit X40 kit that I just finished building. Uh, if you're not familiar with this kit, it comes out of India. Uh, it's uh, $69 with one week shipping to your door. I got it in four and a half days. I say four and a half because I ordered it at about seven o'clock in the evening. So, and it came in four days later. Um, it, I did. I bought this kit, or the the uh, the case from eBay. Uh, I paid seventeen bucks, I think, for it shipped. It's a it's a nice aluminum case. I did have to do some cutting on the front for the display, drill all the holes, and then the same for the back. Um, you can see the power cord. You can see the uh, uh, antenna. And if you put a cooling holes in the bottom as well just to keep it cool while it's going but uh, I think it doesn't generate much heat it's only five watts single side band QRP rig take the case off here show you the inside so this kit comes with most of the components already soldered on all of the surface mount components are for the most part they're all soldered on and in place um, you only have to solder uh, most of the connections actually to either the jacks or from the boards uh, but to connect the two boards together, things like that. Um, works really well. Actually, uh, uh, my first test call I made a, uh, was during the uh, sweepstakes weekend, and it was a station calling out of New York, and I figured, what the heck, I'd give it a try, and uh, he heard me, and he actually gave me a good audio report. Uh, right now, I just have the microphone that he sends with it wired directly through a little hole in the front, and then this little micro push-button switch is your push-to-talk. Uh, so I basically held the microphone and the push to talk threw my call sign out. I lo and behold it came back to me I just couldn't believe it. So uh, I'll move this over to the uh, I'll move this over to the uh, Radio table over here getting the antenna and everything plugged up, and I'll show you how it works. I'll be back in just a minute All right, I am back and uh, here's the rig uh, It's got hooked up to my 40 meter Carolina Wyndham uh, Which I know is tuned well using a BNC adapter to to a PL239. Get the thing fired up. See if I can zoom in on it a little bit here. All right, so it starts up on uh, 7.1408. Oh, you know what I didn't do? Okay, so the thing obviously doesn't have a built-in speaker. Uh, let me get on my little portable speaker here. There will be a small speaker built into this. That is one of the things on my list. However, for now, I'll just put in this cheap little communication speaker that I picked up. And we'll just plug that in there. Aha! All right, and we have sound. The 192, the brother, what time is it? It's almost five, so the the night watch net should be on. Um, now you can see why I want AGC circuit on this. So it looks like it's, it might be a little bit off frequency. Alright, I'll turn the processor off. Maybe that'll be a little more forgiving. This is a little bit more. My dad is down here. Most of the alien is uh, the opposite side of Goose Creek. Is, uh, we got to go to the water. We're going to it's about 50 degrees now. I'm going to go cold again. We got up this morning. It was 34. So, Bob well, has definitely arrived here on the coast. And uh, thank you for picking us up. Thank you for you know, uh, doing all you do for uh, our uh, night watch. Uh, turn the mic over 
So this this net actually runs on 7.192, and I'm tuned to, I don't know if you can see this play, 7.1924. So it's slightly off frequency, but that is adjustable, and they actually sell you, they send you the the uh, tools to, to adjust it. So. But the whole idea with this kit is to learn how it, how this stuff works, and then you can build and modify. You can modify the kit, and you can build components to add to it. Uh, like I said, I'm going to add an AGC circuit to this next. Uh, a lot of people are, are changing the way the tuning works on it. I have no problem with the way the tuning works on it, so I don't know if I'm going to put that in there. Uh, they're also changing it to multi-band, so you can uh, so you can uh, work 20 meters and 40 meters. And I've seen some people do 80 and 160 even with it, but uh, I'm not going to go that far. I just did it for the experience, for learning, and for building a couple circuits that I can add on to it. So anyways, that's, uh, that's, the, uh, that's my version of the Bit X40. And that's uh, my fault. The power's the adapter is a little bit loose there, and it tuned back to a different frequency. Guess I guess I'll be fixing that. I don't want that thing moving around. Alright, that is it. So this is what the complain about is when you get to the top of the tuning, it starts taking steps. That is it. That is the my version, like I said, of the Bit X40. All right, 73s, everybody.